Hello everybody and welcome to this video. This is the final stupid caller of 2014. I know. Oh my god. There weren't more? Really? Oh jeez. There's just so many out there with so much potential to be idiots. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in. Uh, this isn't a numbers game for me. I don't do this because, oh look at all the hits I got and wow look at all the you know blah 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 and all that stuff that you know flies on other websites. This is just for entertainment. Well, not just entertainment. Let me rephrase that, for goodness sakes. This is also about spreading knowledge. Bringing people together. I just don't put all this up for no reason. And I'd like to thank everyone who enjoyed the videos and spread them. I mean, one took off in particular for a candidate who's running for office. It got put up on a couple different websites and it just skyrocketed in hits. I don't remember which candidate that was, if they won or lost, but if this channel helped, I hope... Well, I hope it was worth it. I've had good comments, I've had bad comments, I've had to block some radicals, I've had to delete some rather inappropriate comments by some users. I wish some of you wouldn't do that, because I'm going to continue to delete them anyway. And I've had a film composer comment on one of the videos of his own music. Uh, that was nice, it was informative. I got contacted by some people over at Rush Limbaugh's place. They wanted to link to a video in one of their newsletters. It was a Glenn Beck video where I was talking about Rush. I don't know if that happened or not. Uh, and other than that, it's been fun. It's, it's a lot of effort. I don't get anything for it. I get some thanks here and then. That's nice. But that's pretty much it. I hope you all enjoyed it. This is, like I said, the final stupid caller of 2014. Dun, dun, dun. Marson, I believe that's how you pronounce it, Columbus, Ohio, on the Mark Levin app. Quickly, go right ahead. Hey, hello, is this Mark Levin? Yes, uh, my name is Marcin. Um, I have a child in the United States. Uh, I believe I disagree with you on your stance with Barack Obama. I have a right to stay here. I have a good job. I pay Social Security taxes. Um, I'm an eco immigrant, but. Uh, when did you come here and from where? I came here a year ago. From a year ago? Uh, yeah, two, two years ago from uh, from Mexico. From yeah. where? From Mexico. Where in Mexico? Uh, the Mexico City. Uh huh. And where did you live in Mexico City? I lived in downtown Mexico City, and I. No, did, well, I, what street did you live on in Mexico City? Excuse me. What well, street? Do you, want to, do you want to send? What street do you live on? What does it matter? What what, what street? Because you're a fraud with your phony imitation. Get rid of this guy. You didn't know I could tell, did you, Mr. Call Screener? He said Mexico and then Mexico. If you came here a year or two ago, go home. Why are you here? And then apply legally. Your government will show you how. And then over a period of years, you're likely to get here. There are other people who do it exactly that same way. We call them legal immigrants. We are a beneficent, tolerant, loving society. We're not opposed to immigration. We want it organized. We want it managed. We want it done in a way that comports with our laws. So if you came here illegally one year ago, you first said, then you said two years ago, then you said Mexico, then you said Mexico, I got you. You're a fraud. But that doesn't matter. The point is still the same. Come through the legal way. There are many, many people who are trying right now. We get them calling this program from all over the world. John from Ireland comes to mind, but there are others, including from south of the border. That's the answer. No country, no country tolerates people just coming in illegally, then demanding legalized status, insisting that they shouldn't be deported, then ultimately demanding access to various welfare benefits. If you came here illegally and paid into Social Security a year or two ago, you must have an illegal Social Security card. You're not supposed to have a Social Security number. You're here illegally. So it's one violation piled on top of another. Everybody's supposed to blink and turn their heads. But if you're a U.S. citizen and you don't pay your income tax on time, you're going to be punished. If you're a U.S. citizen and you don't comply with the EPA and do what they tell you to do, you're going to lose your house. There's a lot of laws out there. Americans have to follow them, and I expect aliens to follow them, too.